What if I told you that there's another blader as strong as Ryuga and you might not even know his name? I'm not talking about Jenga or Kiyoya. I'm not even talking about Rago. Yes, I know Jenga and Rago have defeated Ryuga before, but in the Jenga battle, Ryuga was taken over by the Dark Power. In the next season, he overcame the Dark Power and became levels stronger than Jenga. And for Rago, well, he's a god. Besides those two bladers, no one else can proudly say that they've defeated Ryuga. But what if I told you there's one person who can say that they've tied against Ryuga. Would you believe me? I can see why you wouldn't. Many view Ryuga as the strongest blader in the show, and the character I'm talking about isn't very well known. A blader on the level of Ryuga should be one of the most popular characters in the series, so who in the world am I talking about? The mystery blader who tied against Ryuga is Helios. That name may not even ring a bell for some of the biggest Beyblade fans out there, so let me explain. Helios was a main character in the movie Metal Fight Beyblade vs. The Sun, Soul Blade the Scorching Hot Invader. I may have just blown some of your minds by telling you that a Beyblade Metal series movie even exists, but yeah, I rewatched it before making this video, and it's really good. If you haven't watched it, I recommend you go do that right now and come back after, because I will be talking about what happened in the movie. So, Helios. Named after the Greek god of the sun, he wields Soul Blaze, an incredibly powerful Beyblade. He was introduced early into the movie in what has to be one of the coolest character introductions I think I've ever seen. We're watching a tournament divided into two blocks, but it's very unique in the sense that the arena is also divided into two. Block one is turned away and can't see what's happening in block two until the final battle starts. Only then will the stadiums turn around and face each other, forming one large arena. Jenga pretty easily wins his block over Subasa, but the other block proves to be far more interesting. Prominent bladers of this block are Masamune, Yu, and Benkei, but when their block is revealed, all of them are on the ground surrounded by smoke and a stadium that's been burnt to a crisp. Helios is the only one left standing as the smoke clears, and his final battle with Jenga begins. It's evenly matched for a bit, but that all changes when Helios unleashes his special move, Blazing Execution. Basically, just think of Phoenix on steroids and then multiply that by 10. This attack is massive, and Jenga is brutally defeated as Pegasus crashes into the wall. What an introduction for Helios. I mean, Jenga's lost battles before, but how often do we see him lose like this? in this sort of fashion. Other than his first battle with Ryuga, I can't think of another time Jenga was so hopelessly outmatched. Right away, we're made aware of just how strong Helios is. Later on into the movie, a brief background of Helios is shown. He was raised by his grandfather, Bakin, who wields a very interesting Poseidon Beyblade. Their goal is to revive the ancient city of their ancestors, Atlantis. They planned on accomplishing this by using the power of the sun god stored in Helios' Beyblade, Soul Blaze. As far as the movie goes, Helios' best feat is defeating Jenga, but he also takes on Masamune multiple times, Yu, Kenta, Benkei, Ryutaro, Tobio, and Tetsuya. A lot of them he took on all at once too. But at the end of the movie, Jenga ends up defeating Helios, which should prove Jenga is stronger, but I'm not entirely convinced. Yes, Jenga won, but nothing changed from the last battle. He still used the same moves, except they just worked this time around and for some reason didn't work in the first battle. It's kind of weird how that all worked out, but the plot of the movie kind of called for Jenga's victory, and it happened, so we move on. That's the brief rundown on Helios. So now, how does he compare to Ryuga? Well, we can sit here and try to power scale the two based on their battles with Galaxy Pegasus, or we could just analyze the time they battled each other. Unfortunately, Ryuga didn't make an appearance in the movie, but he still battled Helios. It all went down in the manga. Their battle took place sometime between Ryuga's loss to Jenga in Season 1, and his first appearance back in Season 2. In the final episode of Season 1, a defeated Ryuga takes Lightning Eldrago and walks away, but we don't know where he went. We then see him again in Season 2, training in a volcano with Meteo Eldrago. It's said Eldrago evolved when Ryuga defeated the Dark Power, but the manga says otherwise. We're also let known that Ryuga and Helios' battle took place before Jenga vs. Helios, because Helios is actually searching for Jenga when he runs into Ryuga. The confrontation quickly turns into a battle, and we see Ryuga launch out Lightning Eldrago, meaning his Beyblade hasn't evolved yet by this point. Helios acknowledges Ryuga's power and unleashes his famous move, Blazing Execution. As the smoke clears, Helios thinks 
thinks this battle is all over, but in typical Ryuga fashion, he absorbed the attack and it only made him stronger. In fact, this is when Lightning Eldrago evolves into Meteo Eldrago. This excites Helios and shortly after we get a clash of special moves, the Dragon Emperor Supreme Flight versus another Blazing Execution, and the result is a tie. It's hard to tell just from a drawing, but it looks like both Beyblades are barely spinning, and the battle is mutually ended. Ryuga even helps Helios by giving him valuable information, which I view as a sign of respect. So that's pretty much the story of Ryuga and Helios. It's pretty short, but still cool nonetheless. But what do y'all think? I definitely think that they're on the same level, but if the battle were to continue, I lean towards Ryuga, just because he can absorb power. But still, a tie is a tie. And Helios was also the only person, to my knowledge, to have survived the Dragon Emperor Supreme Flight, besides Rago, of course. But what do y'all think of this comparison, and what do you think of Helios as a character? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.